Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Chase, and I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And today I'm bringing you guys another sneaker review, and it is gonna be the Stussy Air Force One Low. And I would like to give a shout out to my boy Phil for hooking me up with a pair of these. And I'm gonna be talking about the materials, colors, and the design. And I'm also gonna be comparing them to a regular pair of Air Forces that I have here. And I'll definitely be showing a bunch of different comparison shots. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So getting right into the Stussy Air Force One, the sneaker I have with me today is going to be the Triple Black. It does come in one other color which is going to be the Triple Fossil and that's going to be like a light beige. Very simple colorway, very subtle. Now in terms of materials, this is going to be a pretty interesting shoe. Most of the upper is going to be made of a hemp material. So that's going to be the vamp, the toe box, the eye stays, the quarter panels, and all over the rest of the ankle counters and even the uh, ankle collar accents and even the tongue are all going to be that nice rough hemp material. This is going to give it a very nice rugged look and it's going to be very durable. Now another interesting use of materials is going to be the swoosh and the ankle collar accent piece. They're going to be long threads that have had their slack pulled out and only stitched at the ends on the top and the bottoms and also in the center. Now in terms of execution, the swoosh threads are going to be a lot more tightly woven together and I suspect that this is going to be to reduce snagging on your pants. And moving to the back of the ankle collar accent, you can see that this thread is even more loosely threaded in. If you, if you see that I run my hand across, you can actually see it moving completely. So this does worry me because if you are wearing long pants, this will rub up against it and eventually these fibers will fray. Now moving to the inside of the sneaker on the sock liner, you are gonna see that the traditional woven nylon is replaced with a nice leather liner. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give it a much more comfortable fit for the person. While this isn't gonna wick away sweat as well and it's not gonna be as breathable, this is eventually gonna conform better to the person's foot and it is gonna fit better. And it's nice to see that this liner goes all the way from the back all the way to the front of the toe box and even lines the underside of the toe box. So Nike definitely didn't skimp on the liner in this instance. This leather is definitely gonna be a little bit more water resistant than your typical woven material because it is not as porous. And again, as I said, because it does line the toe box as well underneath. If it does happen to rain or something, even if the hemp on the outside gets wet, the water is not gonna immediately soak into your socks. Now moving down to the insole, you are once again gonna see the presence of that hemp woven material on top. This is gonna give it a rougher feeling against your socks, but at the same time, it is gonna help your foot mold to it pretty well. And it is gonna feel a little stiff at the beginning, but as the foot molds in, it is gonna give you better grip. Now moving on to the outsole, you are gonna have your standard Air Force One Air logo along with the stripe, and it is gonna be studded with all the stars on the front as well as the back and on the underside it is going to be your usual outsole. Another interesting detail is definitely going to be the laces. It does come fully laced with the all black hemp laces. These are going to be super rugged and if you actually look at the eyelets as well they are actually stitched along all the edges as well as all the other panels on the sneaker. So as I said yeah this is overall just going to be a much more durable shoe probably than the original. In order to describe the design of the sneaker I wanted to do a quick comparison and showcase a regular Air Force One. If I had to describe this sneaker, I would definitely say it's a very subtly redesigned sneaker from Stussy. The little details that you'll notice are definitely gonna be the embroidered double letter form of the S on the toe box, as well as on the back of this metal emblem. You'll again see that double S letter form. And on the front of the tongue tag, you will see the Stussy word mark as well as the Nike abstract logo. And the biggest change is definitely going to be the finish when you see it from far away. It is going to have a much more matte look than something like a matte leather like these Air Forces here. As you've seen by now, the most prominent change on these sneakers are definitely going to be the materials and the finishes on them. Now, design-wise, a couple of concepts here. You are going to see Stussy really play with the concept of twos here. So with their letter form, it is made of two S's if you've never seen it. 
it's much more clearly seen here on the emblem. You'll also see it on the swoosh here with this division stitch in the center. You will kind of see almost like a double swoosh. And even with the eye stays, it is almost like a double stitch in the center of them. So I think the uh, whole idea of twos is definitely pretty cool. As I said, very subtly redesigned sneaker. So now we get to the fitment. I've tried on both the regular Air Force Ones and the Stussy Air Force Ones. And even though the material has changed, these are slightly stiffer when you get them new. However, I will say that you should still stick true to size with these sneakers. With the comfortability aspect of it, I think these are gonna do a lot better than the regular Air Forces. Not only are they lighter because they use a woven material instead of all that leather, and the also has been upgraded from what I can tell in terms of the weight on the bottoms. The leather sock liner, as I said, goes throughout the whole sneaker, so you shouldn't have any issues with the woven material chafing your foot if that is usually an issue with you. Um, the only thing I will say is that if you tend to get really sweaty, the leather will tend to absorb more moisture and is less breathable. But if you don't have that issue, this should be overall much more comfortable than a regular Air Force One. And one last note, basically every panel is lined with this leather. Unlike the traditional Air Force Ones, there are no holes cut out anywhere on the panels for breathability. So there is a trade-off between these getting a little more sweaty because of the liner and the water resistance of the actual sneaker itself. So overall, I think this sneaker is super cool. All the details are extremely subtle. It's one of those type of sneakers that looks nothing special from far away. So you really have to get up close to look at the nice details on this sneaker. And as I mentioned earlier, the dead giveaway that these are no regular Air Force Ones is that the material refracts light differently than leather. And actually, if you look in between the weave in certain angles, you can actually see that the under layer is actually quite shiny. It will refract light differently than the actual outer weave that you normally see. So as I said, super cool sneaker, really iconic design that I think Stussy stayed true to with by only changing up certain little details and giving it little hits of, of changes, you know, that you really have to look for. If they're not going for much more than retail, I think it's definitely worth a cop if you are a big fan of Air Force Ones. So let me know in the comments below if you're gonna be copping a pair, if you already got a pair during release, and what you think of the sneaker overall. And as always, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you get notified about my latest drops. And as always, stay safe, Merry Christmas to you all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.